Yo, yo, what's up, the crew? I'm back with Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, my favorite one of the bunch, best of the group in my opinion. Um, and I'm, I'm playing through three houses right now, and that game's great as hell, but this one has its old charm to it, and I love it. So, if you didn't get that from watching part one, you're deaf, or you don't like me more likely that you don't like me but that's okay i mean my own parents don't even like me so i don't really need anyone else to not like me either or well i guess i do well it's okay if you don't like me chapter two the protected unlike my feelings they're not protected from people not liking me okay cool so last time we escaped from some castle over here maybe the Renai Castle, and Erica and her band of trusty knights and companions did the escaping, and they're running away from this empire all the way down here that used to be friends, but then they were like, no, and surprise attacked. But now they're up here in their other friend's castle, and now we're gonna go south to go rescue Erica's brother. So here we go to Eid. I guess it's Eid. It sounds better than Ide. So, Ide it is. King Hayden apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. Whew. Whew. That's okay. We got Vanessa and Mulder. Some people call him Mulder the Boulder. But he's so handsome, I call him Mulder the Smolder. He's giving him that, uh, that Flynn Rider experience. Alright. Here we go. Chasing rumors of her brother, we're going down south. Going down, down to Renai. Going down, down, and around. Trying to rescue her brother. Chapter 2 The Protected. Alright. Seth mapped out our route. We'll travel south and pass through Seraphu into Grado. It's a sensible plan. Well, if Mulder the Smolder says so, <laughs> then. It's probably sensible. I mean, he's a generally trustworthy guy. <clears throat> Vanessa wants to scout ahead. From the sky, she'll have a better chance of spotting nearby troops. Yes, of course. Keep an eye out for enemy bowmen, though, Vanessa. She seems sincere. Quite. Thanks for adding to that, Mulder. Whoa, it's bandits! Banditos! Hey, boss, we found more villages ripe for the picking. Just like my nose, my huge nose, and my two side buck teeth. Look at this fucking guy. He's got like a weird ascot scarf thing. It's, ugh. One, two, three. Ha ha ha. Looks like, uh, looks like his big-nosed friend is, uh, learning how to count. Good for you, buddy. Actually, I think he counted incorrectly. I believe there are four villages here. Bone, you're in charge. Ugh. I bet he tells that to the ladies. No, wait. He tells that to his dick for the ladies. Wait. Bone is another euphemism for dick, is what I'm getting at. <clears throat> Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. And then he ran away. And here we got two similarly dressed men. Dad! Bandits approaching! Hmm. What to do? I'm getting you out of here, Ross. We were on a break! That's what Ross would say. Ha! Ah, friends joke from like 1997 or whatever. Current! Actually, I think they're taking that off of Netflix, so... It's about to be a little less current. Cut down anyone fool enough to get in your way. I'm heading west around the mountains to the other villages. That bitch is out of here. Ooh! The village was destroyed. It's showing you right off the bat. Bandits, villages, they don't mix. It's bad news bears. Those bitches will buck those villages badly. <clears throat> uh. Ross, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's just a scratch. You're a warrior, Dad, and I'm your son. Way to be redundant. You're my dad, therefore I'm your son. I won't be beaten so easily, except when you beat me because you're my father. Don't risk yourself so foolishly. I need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son. He's just screaming to the mountains while there's bandits. And Vanessa says, I'm reporting back. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? 
No way, a bandit in a Fire Emblem game? Our first dilemma. It's not a dilemma, we're gonna fight him. We're gonna, we're gonna rescue the child. And Mulder's a healer. Cool, chapter two is introducing us to all the cool stuff. So we got these two new units. I guess I'll do a quick recap. Erica is fast and skillful. Franz is a budding talent kind of guy. He, uh, he's got decent strength. He grows in speed a lot. He will eventually probably outclass his mentor, Seth, who's all around great. Good movement on a horsey. Gilliam, who's got tons of defense and strength, but very slow and, and uh, not very lucky either, it seems. Not a lot of movement, but he is a tank. He's a knight. New guy, Mulder, a mature priest of Freya. Gentle and reassuring. Priests can heal. He's got some good skill and good speed. They call him the Boulder because his constitution is very high. I call him the Smolder because those cheekbones are real high. I mean, look at those things. Uh, that heal staff can help heal. C rank and staves, pretty cool. Means he can use lots of staves, staffies. Vanessa's over here. Sincere, honest, honorable. That's true, 100%. Pegasus Knight, 100%. That is a Pegasus. She can fly. She takes a ton of damage from bows because you shoot in the air. I feel like, I don't know, I get why bows beat flyers because it's like, oh, it's in the air, it's an easy target, but I feel like them just flying around like crazy is not that easy of a target. But anyway, she's super fast. Um, she gets good growths. I don't often use Vanessa, but um, she is good. I don't use her. The reason I don't use her isn't because she's not good. Like, she's really good if you, you know, train her on a normal level. I just, I'm not huge into Pegasus Knights. I'm way bigger into Wyvern Riders which are like Pegasus Knights, but instead of a horse that flies, it's a dragon, and I like dragons. My middle name is Dragon, so that's actually... <clears throat> anyway, her aid is very high, even though her constitution is very low. Um, she can pick people up because she got a flying horse. Uh, so yeah, and then we got to go rescue these guys. Garcia... The fighter, he uses axes, tons of strength and HP, but uh, not a lot of like defense or luck. And his son Ross, who I'll get to in a minute, but he is pretty similar to his dad. Uses axes. He's young. He's weak. He'll die in like one hit. He's already down to a third of his HP. So Vanessa is gonna go over here and hit the rescue button. She's hitting that rescue. I'm gonna pick him up because his constitution is lower than her rest, uh, her aid value. <clears throat> She has Kento, which is a skill of mount mounted units. They can move after certain actions. And she's picking them up. That's what that little green man is. That's Ross. Ross is the green man. Then we can actually... Uh... Well, I guess we'll just do this. I'll do that in a minute. We'll have Erica visit this village. Once you visit a village, they're no longer under threat from bandits. They board up the town. This is terrible. What are we going to do? The bandits are so close. It's not like we can board up the village. Protect ourselves. Perhaps, said this person with a unique portrait. People, listen, you must close the village gates immediately before the bandits arrive. Good idea, bitch. I just said that. Huh. <sighs> Sometimes. I've had it up to here. Who are you? You aren't one of the neighboring towns, are you? That should end in a question mark, shouldn't it? And how would she know? Your weapons give you away. You're no peasant. I'm, er, uh, I'm Arena. I'm a mercenary. I'm a mercenary named Arena. Is it? There's more to you than that, I feel, but don't worry. It's none of my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet, have I? I'm Selena, a general in Grado's army. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's probably too loud. <clears throat> ah something wrong no uh nothing yeah real inconspicuous era arena i'd like to help but i have orders i'm to leave for the capital can't stay you're armed you're a mercenary please help him i'll help him but you're one of grado's generals why these aren't soldiers they're people should they suffer because their leaders fight i've petitioned your aid take this as payment and she's off 
When you visit villages, you get something. And from this, we got a valuable red gem. This shit is worth some moolah, some money, some 2,500 gold, 2.5k. Okay. Um, how far can Franz ride? He can ride. These forests slow them down a little, but they can they can ride. Oh, they can ride. Gilliam's gonna move up, and we'll have Mulder go ahead and uh, visit this village. He could actually come over here and take Ross and then drop him. Um, but we'll just save that for next turn. I don't want Ross running off because he's still an NPC. He has a, a stupid mind of his own. We'll just have Mulder visit this village. Talk to Girly Girl over here. The most wonderful man rescued me. He was dressed like a mercenary, but he had an air of elegance about him. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it'll help you on the battlefield. Hey, you must not have liked him very much to just give away his possessions, his property. Oh, I guess I didn't look at the boss yet. I didn't look at Bone yet. What a great name. Do you think his mom gave him that name? Or do you think, like... I see two scenarios. His mom was just fucking crazy. He was like, I'll name him Bone. And then the dad was either dead and didn't get a say in it, or was like, fuck yes, our son's name is Bone. And then he got picked on his whole life, and that's why he became a bandit. Or his name was something, like, too normal, like... Like, Eugene. And they named this ugly-ass kid Eugene. And so he was like, he's like, I'm going re to reinvent myself, rename myself something cool, and join the, the bandits of this town, this area. Uh, call me Bone. And other, uh, he's like Taserface from that movie, the Guardian of the Galaxy. He's like Taserface, but, but he named himself Bone. One of Bazba's henchmen. Now that leads me to wonder if uh, Bazba changed his name to Bazba, or if... Some mother was actually like, yeah, Bosba. That's a good name. Oh, the brigand class. I'm going to go ahead and spoil this right here. You don't get to play as any brigand classes in this game. But in one of the previous Game Boy games, uh, the Japanese-only game where Roy is from, the Binding Blade, or sometimes called Sword of Seals, I think, there you get a brigand you can actually play as. I actually just bought a, uh, a copy of it online. It's going to be here in a few days from when I'm recording this. And I might play it on the show. I've never played it. Never really seen much of it. I've been looking over the like some strategy guides for it. Because I don't believe in emulation of any kind, really. Uh, like, unlicensed, especially. Like, fan translations. I don't have anything against it. I just don't like it for myself. So I bought an original Japanese copy of the actual game. Like, the Game Boy game from Japan. I think the owner was in the US. But, like, the cartridge was the Japanese original cartridge. It was like 40 bucks. It was crazy. It was like, whoa. I guess it makes sense, but... Uh, excuse me. Mm. But it's going to be worth it. And I might play it on this channel, because it'd be fun to do like a blind playthrough of a Japanese role-playing game that's in Japanese, and I can't read Japanese, and uh, see if I can beat that game just entirely off of me knowing the mechanics of these GBA Fire Emblems. Like, I have it pretty much memorized that, you know, this is strength, skill, speed, etc., down this line, and, and I know the mechanics, and I know the... The weapon triangle. I know the classes pretty well. Um, so I'll see if I. Uh, I think I'll see if I can beat that game. I might try and play it a little bit um, by myself first, just to get a handle on it, um, and then try it on the channel. But then I guess it wouldn't be blind. So yeah, maybe I'll just do it blind on the channel. We'll see. All right. So this is what I was talking about. Franz has a decent enough rescue or aid or whatever to take Ross from Vanessa and then drop him here and then he can also Kanto move away a little bit it's a cool skill that mounted units have they do have skills in this game for promoted classes certain ones um, Kanto is a skill that little you know young younger classes little classes whatever the fuck can use anyway this whole rescue take and drop mechanic you can like you can kind of abuse it to get units moved across the map pretty quick, but I'm not smart enough. So anyway, let's go ahead and do what they suggested earlier and have Mulder use his staff. Let's move him here and staff and heal on Ross. Boom. I guess it wouldn't be boom. He's actually healing him. It's... Anyway, he healed him. Dun-da-da-da. -da -da. 
All right, and now it's our first like real recruitment. Like, whoa, this this isn't a starting blue unit. He's not ours. I can't control him. What do we do? You gotta talk to him. And when in doubt, you gotta talk to him with someone you think they like. And when you don't know, you talk with your lord. So Erica can talk to him. I love that music. Oh. Sends chills down my spinular area. Hey, listen, my village is being attacked by bandits. And we were on a break. My name's Ross. I'm played by David Schwimmer. Come on, Chandler, you have to help me wipe out those thugs. All right, just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. I said we were on a break. Leave the villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boy somewhere safe. No, wait, Joey, I'm going to fight too. But my father, Monica, is out there fighting those bandits. I've got to get back to Rachel as soon as quickly as possible. I'm the son of the great Joey. These, uh, these references aren't coming off. Well, <clears throat> I can't just replace every name and pronoun with a friend's character when he says, my father. <clears throat> as long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever beat me. All right, I can see you're not gonna be swayed, but you must promise you'll stay close to us. So let's take a look at Ross. He's weak as shit. He's so bad right now. He does come with a unique weapon, a hatchet, uh, lightweight and easy to hit with. Range 1 to 2. It's a throwing axe. Plenty of uses at 50. Um, and he's the journeyman class. This is one of the first cases in... Well, it, I think it's the first case in the US of, uh, of like a trainee class. Like, if you've played Awakening, this would be like Donal. Donny, the villager. You know, he's super weak, but he can grow really well. This is the same kind of thing in this game. There's three of them in this game, not just like the one Donnie. What's her name in Fates? Fuck. It's like Mozu? I want to say Mozu, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, like trainee villager units. I mean, you get a bunch of them in uh, in uh, Gaiden and Echo. Echoes. Um, I mean, you know, you get like Cliff and Tobin and Gray and Faye in the new one, and, and you get Atlas later. But here there's only three. I guess it's a middle ground. First one's right here. Um, this one uses axes and he can promote into a few different things. He's got some options. He'll take some time to, to bring up to snuff though. We gotta get to this village as well, or before Bone wrecks it. Let's um let's get Gilliam moving up to the front. This is an armory, we can buy shit here. Oh, you know what we can do? Garcia's over here fighting. Let's go ahead and have Venersa burn Garcia over here. Boom. Then we're gonna do this. We're gonna have Seth pick him up. We'll do that whole take droppy thing. Boom. And we'll just have you move next to Erica. Boom. Oh, supplies, you can use the convoy. Erica has the convoy with her. You guys remember from the last episode, King Hayden or whatever was like, here, take this convoy of stuff. And so it's just with her at all times. And that talky thing, well, Ross is going to go over here and do it over here. He's going to talk to his dad. What an insurmountable feat, talking to your own father. Oh. Dad. Ross. Boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me, hurry up and get yourself to safety. I don't know why I keep changing the southern accent on these guys. You think I could just run away while you fight, Dad? You taught me that fighters fight for fighting. And what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting. Just like fighters fight. Ross. Alright, listen to me. We'll cut our way out of here together. Spoken like a true fighter. He was once a feared military leader. Yeah. Alrighty, now let's go take out these bandits. That archer over there is a little scary for- Whoa! You guys were unexpected. More cutthroats. Oh, I think there's actually a, a, a translation error on these things. Mm, a member- No, it's not these ones. Fuck. Which one was it? Oh, no. Alright, it's not on these ones. I could have sworn- 
I feel like there's one of these bandits where they're like, they're like bandits who take lay claim to this region, and this region is not where you are. It's like a region you go to later. I must be imagining it. There was something else like that, though. I promise there, there's some kind of error there where it's like you click on the guy, his description is like, he's from the, the poopy butt region. And you're clearly in the pissy pants region, not the poopy butt region, so what the hell, right? Anyway, this armory will provide some, some like, defense and avoidance. It, it's not as good as like a forest, I think, or a, or a fortress to, to lay your feet upon, but it will give some defense and some avoidance. That is to say, some terrain advantage, as intelligent systems likes to program. Boom! Erica stabbed the bandit. Whoa! That's not good. She just got axed up. That did not help at all. All right. Molder. Give her the smolder. Healer. Boom. I keep saying boom, but it's not a boom. He, he healed her. Um, whoosh, 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 whoosh. Is that a better sound effect? Okay. Um, let's see. Can this... He, so he can't go that far on these mountains. He's climbing mountains. I mean... You expect him to rush down these mountains and fight. He's going to die. So so Ross is safe here just by throwing this axe. But I don't know if I want him... I want him to get the kill. So let's see if Franz... No, Franz just outright murgles him. Okay. Well, that's okay. Ross will just get some experience for throwing an axe at him. Not necessarily killing him. Boom! He just chucked that thing at him. It's like a boomerang. Boomerang! Oh, you know what? Ross is totally going to be like, uh, I'm totally going to treat him like, like Sokka from Avatar The Last Airbender. Boomerang. You always do come back. All right, so let's move Franz up here and we'll deal the final blow on this cutthroat. Stabbed right in the fucking face. Yeah. All righty. He leveled up. Speed, luck, defense. Not terrible. Um, like I said, he's going to get a buttload of speed. Oh, he dropped a vulnerary. Yeah, so these guys can drop items. If it's in uh, if it's in green, like if it's the font is like a glowing green, it means they'll drop it. I should have looked at it earlier, but whatever. Um, Vanessa can't do a lot here because that archer sucks and axes are good against lances, which is what she wields. So, like, she's over here, and, and she's she's not really got an advantage on them. It's pretty bad. So, she's just gonna hang back. Um, Gilliam, he also has a disadvantage because he's lances, but his defense is so high, as well as his strength, that it doesn't super matter. Seth, I'm gonna keep putting him next to Erica. And Garcia will take a pot shot at this bandit. And miss. That's alright. It was like, oh, 25% chance, I'll try it, but whatever. Alright. Oh, five damage. That's okay. That's okay. He got stabbed right in the gut. Right in the fucking gut by Gilliam's lance. Alright, he's coming over. He missed. And he missed. They're just swinging, swinging and missing. The Sultan of Swat over here can't hit shit. But that's okay. Let's see. Let's forget these guys for a minute. And let's bring Garcia over here. And let's ask this guy a question. Okay. Uh, actually, let's have Ross. Let's have Ross hit him first. Because we want Ross to, to get some experience. He gets a lot for just throwing a boomerang at him. Oh god, I hope they make boomerangs a real weapon in Fire Emblem one day. That'd be great. They made... Well, I guess I can't say that. That's spoiling three houses. Never mind. <clears throat> but Garcia's gonna run up and help his son finish the job. Slam! He jumped in the air and slammed him right in the head. Right in the noggin. Axe to the noggin. He's dead. He's out. Lights out. Black forever. He's a murderer. Right in front of his son. Can you believe it? Franz is going to run down here and try and get to this village before Bone does. Three vulneraries. You don't need all that. Guess it's fine. 
We'll trade it off later. That guy is gonna... Bone is gonna go hit Franz with his bone. Let's see, what can this archer do? This archer is annoying. So we're gonna have Gilliam come over here and block the way. Yes, perfect. Okay. Then Eruka. Erika. Is gonna come over here and wait on this fortress, which gives some defense and avoidance and heals a little bit each turn. It's pretty cool. Um, once again, we're gonna have Seth next to her. Can this guy come off the mountain? He certainly can. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to kill Ross, though. So he has 5 strength, plus 8 might of the axe. is 13 attack, 13 damage. So that's not enough to kill Ross, even, even if he had 0 defense. But he's 3 defense, so he's, he's not going to deal enough to kill him. So that's okay. That's okay. Let's just keep Mulder out of range, and we'll move... Vonosa up here. You know what um, anime I miss? I miss the uh, the Metabots anime. Oh, it was so good bad. It was that perfect good bad that Pokemon had for a little while. And Digimon too. Digimon's anime is so good the first few seasons because of how bad it is. It's like good bad. Anyway. Bone! He missed! Franz! He pissed! On you! With his bone! The Metabots anime is super cool. It's just... I feel like there is actually a bit of a... <laughs> well, anyway. It was good. It's, it, if only for its theme song. Metabots! It's time to battle For the waddle To the top Some shit like that. And it plays on the Game Boy game. <gasps> I should play that game on this channel. I should play that game. The Metabots, um, they made two Metabots games, three technically, on Game Boy. One that was an RPG, um, which is really good. I have that one. Um, really good RPG, but I, I have the most nostalgia for the two other games, which are, um, they're kind of like, they still have RPG elements. You still level up and stuff, but they're more like f arena fighting games. Like, I don't want to compare it to Smash Bros, because it's not as good as Smash Bros in any regard. But it is like 2D, left and right, jumping around a stadium, two-on-two -two, uh, fighting. Your metabots, your robots. You know, you have two at a time versus the, the opponents, too. And that one, every time you start up the game, it plays the theme song. I'd love to play that on the on the channel and just sing along. Metabots! It's the best. Man, the best. To the, till you drop. Okay, we're in a bit of a bind here because we got these two... Axeman over here. And this guy and this guy, and I don't really know what all to do about it. So, I think Seth is going to have to pull one out for us. First off, Bone can absolutely reach that, so... This is a predicament. Um, how much can Ross deal here? Five. So, in theory, these two can kill Bone. Stabbed. Good. Thank you. A miss. Bone is doing way worse than his henchmen. And Ross, please don't miss this 83% chance. Thank you. Thank you. Oof. Wow. Ross is so good at studying dinosaur bones, but he killed this bone. Come on. Am I right? Blast! Oh, that's going to be a full hundred. That feels so good. Imagine that bar going up. Oh, never mind. Ross is supposed to have good growth rates, or at least decent. I don't know, maybe he doesn't. But he does grow a lot because he's a trainee class, like more levels. But he only got one HP point and nothing else. What the heck, Ross? Alright, well. Let's see here. Um, I want to make sure... Well, that's okay. That's not going to be a big deal. Let's have Seth... S 
Okay, you're gonna stab Arino this guy right here. Don't miss. Thank you. Thank you. It was like a one-third chance to miss, but he didn't. So he's dead. See, now that's what I call a level up. No speed, but I mean, he got strength, defense, HP. That's a good level up. He got strength and defense, which is what this guy needs, and HP. So, I'll take it. Um, Garcia is going to see you later. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that, that looked like it took him right in the shoulder blade. Just cut him up. And he missed, because you're in a forest. Okay, let's see if you can actually... You might actually kill this thing, so I'll give you the chance. Oh, yeah. Vanessa, you're good. You're golden. You got that crit. You heard me give you confidence. You took that confidence, and you murdered him with it. That's great. All right, well, with that obstacle out the way, it is up to uh, Iruka-sensei to stab this guy. Well, I don't know if I want to use the repair uses, but if it'll get her the kill, so it's a worthy, it's a worthy usage. Ooh, right in the belly button. She said that's a target, stabbed him right through, intestines falling out. He's dead, and she got skill, speed, luck, and res. That's pretty much what she is good at. We'll move Seth next to her. Who needs the heals? Really just Guillaume. Guillaume. But we can't even reach, so. That's okay. Excuse me. That archer is going to do jack squat. And Fran over here is going to go visit this village. Let's see what they give us. What's all the ruckus? What? Bandits. Spread the word. Spread the word. Close the gates. Thank you for your warning. Accept this small token. A pure water. Oh. Great. A useless item. All right, Ross. Now's your time to shine. What is your speed? His speed is not higher than yours. So, you can do this. You can do this. Let's do this just to be safe, but you can do this. Yeah! Get him! Hit him! Hit him good! Alright, please, get one more than one stat this time. That was a way better level up. Strength and speed is what he craves. Alright, you're not a lost cause yet, buddy. Now, hit him again. Ow. Less cool. But that's okay, because Molda can heal you. Gonna make that boo-boo all better now. Well, almost. Uh, while Erica's here, she can go to the armory and sell this red gem for 25 big ones. Let's see what they got. They got a slim sword, iron sword, slim lance, iron lance, and an iron axe. I think we're good. I don't think we need any of this. Seth right next to her. Vanessa right here. And we'll just let we'll just let Ross get this kill. Okay, or we won't. Ross, you can't catch up, can you? Okay. Okay. Less cool. That was way less cool of you, bro. Die with some dignity, all right? You gonna run wanna run with your tail between your legs back to Bosba? You think Bosba's gonna do anything for you, huh? Huh? No. Bosba ain't doing shit. Where are you going, punk? Are you actually trying to run away? Can, can he run? I've never had this happen. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna... No? Okay. He just wanted to leave Ross out into the forest to kill him, tie him to a tree, like in that book. Uh, the, I think it was the boy who harnessed the wind. I guess it's a true story, but that guy, he, he I, th I think he had to kill his dog by leaving him tied to a tree. Like, that's fucked up. Like, that guy, 
he's a great inventor and everything, but like, I don't know. I feel like you, you should put your dog out of your misery. Instead of, I, I, if I remember correctly, I think they just tied the dog to a tree and left it. Um, maybe it wasn't him, maybe he was just there when it happened, but... But definitely in that book, and therefore in reality, that dog got tied to a tree and left. For dead. To starve. Oh, anyway, important plot I'm skipping over. When I was a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They're talking about Garcia. He was once the commander of the army. He used to be in Seth's shoes, and then he retired. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for an eye. Master Garcia, you must know the peril our homeland faces. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to my red, red hair once again? I'm sorry, I'm retired. I'm retired. He's like Snake from the Metal Gear. I'm not a soldier. I'm not part of Foxhound anymore. Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. Hold on, let me let me get a cigarette. Let, let me get a cigarette. <sighs> for my country's honor. I left no time for my Hold on, it went out. Hold on. I can't, I can't get to light. Campbell, you, you got a lighter? I can't, I can't, I can't get it to light. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles. Like this girl right here. When my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she left behind, and I was like, Why'd you leave this child behind? Did you leave him at, like, the store or something? Oh, I'm getting lightheaded doing this voice. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty cost me. It cost me, a, like, an hour on the toilet. Oh, my God. Have you ever eaten three days Taco Bell in a row? Taco Bell three days in a row? Oh, that is the worst. And therefore, I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I'd be a father to our son. I'm done with armies. I'm done with fighting except to protect my son. I have no regrets. I'm the boy's father. You, you blasted fool. Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross, if you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter. I know I can do this. Chandler and Joey believe in me. What are you saying? Dad, please listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give that up and be happy. Look at me, Dad. You seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior like you. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross. You want to challenge me, Father? I'm the... F I'm... Blah. I'm a fighter, the best in all of I. <laughs> What's left of it? God. Too soon, Ross. Too soon. I'm not going to lose to you. I'm not going to lose to anyone. <laughs> You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. Yeah, right. That guy almost lost to an archer. One of the worst classes in Fire Emblem, objectively speaking. I love archers. I'm not shitting on archers because I love archers, but they're not that great of a class. Snipers are better, but... Eh. I think rangers, like the, the horseback archers, are better. Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. Doesn't need my help. I've raised him as best I could, but he's right. I have nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad! Oh, Ross. We would stay if we could, but we have to f travel far and wide, like Ash, in his journey to lose every league championship. It's a splendid bracelet. Thank you. My daddy gave it to me. Just just tell everyone, Erica. Tell everyone about the magic bracelet your dad gave you. Who knows what it is, but he said it was important, and therefore it's a plot device, and you're telling everybody about it. Yeah, even this NPC is like, yo, don't wear it openly. It's dangerous. Gold-hungry thieves and bandits. The most wicked are Bosbus bandits. Cruel beyond words. If they have something you want, if they want, your life's nothing. They assaulted some travelers. Oh, it was awful. I can't believe such things. 
Yeah, Erica's a little, like, naive to the world because she's like that princess who was kind of raised in, within the castle her whole life, more or less. I mean, she, there are cutscenes where she's out of the castle, but, but you know what I mean, that general thing of, like, the princess who was raised naive. But she, she grows a lot through this game. Um, her naivety stays with her through a good portion of it, but by the very end, I think she's grown. And um, there is one moment where she gets pretty gullible towards the end. Um, people are like, see, it's no growth whatsoever. She stayed naive and gullible to the end. But I think that's a special case. I feel like anyone, growth or not, would have would have been that gullible in that case. I, I don't even really consider it gullible. I more consider it trusting than gullible. But we'll get there. Rumor has it he's on the verge of being crushed by Grado. Well, that doesn't bode well for our mission of saving him before he gets crushed by Grado. A frame. Flashback. Three years ago. It's time to start. You ready? Yes. Let's begin. And they just start, like, slaughtering a child. And there goes our child sacrifice for the week. Just kidding. Why'd you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. See? And, th and she's kind of already breaking the rule of, like, the naive princess. She's like... She's almost like, I know I'm, I'm, a, I'm a naive princess. I want to break that. She doesn't like uncivilized behavior. She wants to solve without fighting. And yet, I've always relied on you. So she recognizes, like, listen, I was raised to rely on you. And I don't want to be that way. So I need to learn to protect myself. And that's why she can use a sword. That's why she stabbed that bandit in the gut. Killed him dead. That's right. Learn of the sword play. It will help you in your quest three years from now. It's agreed. I'll teach you, but I won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we've started. Complain me never. Whoa! Oops. Beg your pardon. Hey! Princess, you alright? Yes. Someone bumped into me. Jarred. Where's your bracelet? It's gone. Where could it be? Did that man... I'll find him. Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my dad, but a frame needs our help. I can't let sentimentality get in the way of my duty. No, we must retrieve your bracelet, regardless of cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. This is not the first time in Fire Emblem where we were like, oh no, and ran off after a piece of jewelry. Even though the owner of it was like, it's no trouble. And so men must die for the jewelry. Down to the Borgo Ridge. But, seeing as it's been, like, a billion years, this episode's gonna be pretty long, even though it was only one chapter. I'll go ahead and stop it here. We'll pick up again another time. Thanks so much for watching me play and gush all over one of my favorite games of all time. Certainly my favorite Fire Emblem. Flying right in the face of tradition. That's okay. Hate on me all you want. I like this game. And I'll just cry myself to sleep off camera so you don't have to see it when you complain to me. Okay, cool. See you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you see, then let me know with comments and likes. See you next time on Secondhand Gameplay.